I hope you like that story of the rainbow fish. I really like the video too. Let's get started making our own rainbow fish. You'll need a piece of paper, any kind of white paper will do, and we're gonna hold it in the landscape view the long way to make our fish. You'll need a pen, a pencil, a marker, anything to draw with to make your fish. I'm using a Sharpie, but you do not need to use a Sharpie. I'm just using one so that it's nice and dark for you to be able to see at home. What we're gonna do is make our own fish, but remember, your fish might not look like mine, and that's okay, because you are the artist, and our fish will look different. You can make it any way that you like. So let's get started. We're gonna find a point on the right side of our paper, right in the middle, off to the side. That's gonna be where our fish face begins, right at that dot. And we're gonna create a curved line that looks kind of like a frown a curved line just like this to create the back of our fish or the top of our fish, just like this. We're gonna start at the point and we're gonna curve the line all the way and then we'll stop. All right, so we've got the top of our fish done. Now we're gonna create the bottom part of our fish. We're gonna start at the same point and we're gonna make a smiley face. We're going to curve that line and stop. Notice I stopped right before we got to the other line. We're going to leave a little bit of a space between those two lines. So let's get started. We're going to start at the point, curve that line, and then boop, stop right there. We're going to leave a space to make our tail. Now you can make your tail any way that you like. You can make it curved, straight, I'm gonna make a curvy line for my tail today. So I'm gonna start at the top point of my fish and I'm gonna create a curvy wavy line. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom. There we go. Now we have to connect the top to the bottom and we're gonna create the tail which can curve in, it can curve out, you can make a wavy line, anything you like. I'm gonna make mine wavy today. Perfect. Now we can add some detail to our fish. Just like the rainbow fish in the story, I can add a fin at the top of my fish. I'm gonna create another curved line. There we go. And then I'm gonna loop and curve that end and bring it right back to the body. There we go. Now I can make a fin at the bottom also. I'm gonna find a point along the bottom of my fish, and I'm gonna create another curve going back towards the tail. Once I've done that, I'm gonna curve it around again and bring it right back to the body. There, it's done. But we can also add a second fin if we like. And I'll show you, you can find another point right next to that one along the body of your fish. Follow the same line that you just created, and then curve it and bring it right back to the point of the fin, and look, it looks like there's one fin hiding behind the other. Pretty neat, huh? Now we're gonna create the cute face of our fish. We're gonna kind of section it off, create a curved line to kind of keep that cute face of our fish exposed, just like that. Okay, now we can start to add an eye, which is a circle, and then color in a little circle at the bottom. Now we've got a cute eye for our fish, and we can also make a smiley face or a mouth. I'm gonna make one curved line there and one curved line at the bottom and one down the middle to make it look like it has lips for my fish. But your fish can look any way that you like. Okay, now what I'd like to do is to show you how to make scales on your fish. And that's gonna really allow you to add a lot of color and detail to our fish. So let me show you what to do. Well, you know how to make a letter C, right? So what you need to do is create a C or a half circle, and we're gonna add those on top of each other. I'll show you exactly how that's gonna work to make scales on our fish. So let's see, we're gonna start at the very top of our fish, and we're gonna create the letter C or kind of a half circle, there we go. One C, then we're gonna end it and start another C. 
then we're going to start another one. And we're going to finish off with as much as we can get of our C. There we go. There's our first layer of scales. Now we're going to do our second layer. Find the point of your first C, the curve of it, and you're going to create another letter C. And then you're going to connect another letter C to that one and another one. Perfect. Now we're going to continue by adding another one on the next scales. Find that curvy point and create another letter C. There we go. Another half circle. And then we're going to finish up as much as we can. And let's go back and add as much as we can of the letter C to the top part too. There we go. You see how it's starting to look like it has some scales on it? Let's finish off another row and make one more C. I think we can have room for one full one and then part of one and another part of a C. There we go. I think I'm gonna leave it just like that. Let's see if we wanna add some details, but we can do that later with our crayons or markers. So there we go. I'm done with my fish. Are you? Now we are ready to color our rainbow fish. You can use anything you have at home, markers or crayons, I'm even gonna show you how you can paint your rainbow fish using a plastic bag at home and a paintbrush, and also with markers, not using paint. I can show you that a little bit later. So what we wanna do is we're gonna color in our rainbow fish any way that we like with whatever you have at home, coloring in every one of the scales a different color, just like the rainbow fish in our story. I'm going to color this one with a marker. There we go. I can also use crayons to color in the different scales of my fish. I'm going to color this one blue. But you can color yours any way that you like to make your rainbow fish unique and colorful and beautiful. There we go. I'm going to continue coloring in the different scales of my rainbow fish. I'm also going to show you that with your markers or your crayons, you can add details to your fish to color in the tail or the fins any way that you like. Since I made such a wavy fish today, I'm going to add some wavy lines for the tail. I can also add different types of details and different colors to my fish. You can do anything you like for your fish. Now that I've added the details, I'm going to show you how you can use a plastic bag and a paintbrush and markers to create paint to paint your fish if you'd like to try that. Now we're going to try and paint with a plastic bag and a paintbrush and markers. So you're gonna grab your marker color that you want to paint with, and you're gonna color in different sections on your plastic bag, whatever colors that you wanna use. Okay, now that you have all of your colors on your plastic bag, you wanna add some water. I've got a spray bottle over here, and I'm just gonna spritz a little bit of water on each one of these sections. If you don't have a spray bottle, it's fine. You could just put a drop or two of water on each one of these little sections, and you're gonna kind of squish those marker, the marker and water around, and it will turn into paint. So here I've got some turquoise mixed with water and look, it turns into paint. Isn't that neat? 
Now when I'm done with that scale, I can wash off my brush so that I can get another color. So I'm gonna clean off my brush and I'm gonna to go to my next color, purple here. It's mixed with water, I'm gonna squish that around and now I can paint another scale. There we go. I'm gonna clean that brush off and I can use another color. So all you need is some marker with a couple drops of water and you squish that around with your paintbrush and it will turn into paint. Pretty neat, huh? So you can use crayons, you can use markers, or you can use this marker painting technique to make your rainbow fish. I'm gonna finish up my rainbow fish and you can finish up yours. Well, I'm all done with my rainbow fish. Are you done with yours? But we wanna add a little bit of that shimmery sparkle to our fish, right? Just like the rainbow fish in the story. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. You're gonna need a glue stick or you can use glue. And if you have it, you can use some glitter. But not everyone has glitter and that's okay because we've got something that we can use that will look just as good and I'll show you how to do that. If you do have glitter, you just need to use a paintbrush and some glue. And what you're gonna do is just kind of paint with the glue into the different spots on your fish that you wanna add glitter. So you can paint in a scale here and a scale there, and then you'll be able to sprinkle it with some glitter and shake it off. Of course, having a parent help you, and that way you can get some shimmer on there. But if you don't have glitter, that's fine. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna be able to do this using foil that you have in your kitchen. I'm sure if you ask your mom or your dad, they can give you a little piece of foil. And we're gonna turn this foil into little pieces of the fish's scale so that we can add some of that shimmer and sparkle. So we're gonna take our piece of foil and we're gonna just fold it like I'm doing here over and over again on one side and then fold it again into kind of little squares on the other side. We're gonna fold it all up until we get, you can see here, a little square when you're all done. And what we're gonna do is we wanna create a circle and cut a circle that's gonna be about the same size as the scales that you created on your fish. So you see that? You want to make it a big circle because we're going to cut our circle in half to make our fish scales. So just make sure that you're cutting really carefully. You can have a parent help you to make a 
bunch of circle pieces of foil. You can see I have a bunch of foil pieces inside there that are all the same size. Now I'm gonna use my scissor to cut that circle in half, and now I have about the same size that I would need for a scale. So I'm gonna take my glue stick, and I'm gonna just use that glue stick to add glue to some of my different scales. I'm gonna put some glue in those spots that I wanna add some shimmer and sparkle, just like the rainbow fish in the story. I'm gonna add a little bit of glue here. There we go. Maybe another one over here. I'm gonna get glue in all the spots I wanna add some foil. Now I can take one of those pieces and I can glue them onto my fish. You might need to fold over some of those sections if they seem too big or too small, that's fine. Or even cut them down if you need to. I'm gonna take another piece and put that down over my scale. Oops, it looks like I have two there. I'm gonna take that top piece off. There we go. And use that for another part of my fish. So I'm gonna cut this piece, some of the extra pieces of foil that I have here, so that I can add some detail and decoration and some shimmer to other parts of my rainbow fish. Can I just cut off some strips here? Make sure you're really careful with your scissors when you're cutting these little pieces going to add some glue in all the areas that I want to add a little bit of my shimmery foil. There we go. It's kind of fun adding, look at how that shimmers and shines in the light. It's starting to look just like the rainbow fish in the story. The very last step, we're gonna take our scissors and we are going to cut out our rainbow fish when we're all done with it. Which is nice because sometimes when we're coloring or painting, we might've come out of the lines and we can kind of make that all go away by cutting out our rainbow fish. Now that I'm all done cutting it out, I have my very own rainbow fish. I couldn't help but add a little bit more of that foil detail to make it even more shimmery. And if you hold it up to the light, it will sparkle and shine just like the rainbow fish in the story. I hope you enjoyed the lesson.